Hi, this is Brooke Petillier. This is my Module 5, Understanding My Community. Emporia has many customs and traditions. To begin, last year our superintendent started the hashtag Emporia Proud, and this is how we tag everything on social media to keep um, students, family members, and the community involved. We also have many community partnerships. The community is, does a great job about raising um, funds or different resources for our students. We also have a very active community. Um, disc Golf and the Dirty Kanza are big events that we hold every year. The Dirty Kanza is a 200 mile bike race through the Flint Hills and we have people come from around the world to participate in this race. We have a large Hispanic culture, so the Cinco de Mayo celebration is very important to our, to our um, community. We also have many parks and zoos that families go to frequently. There's always different activities being hosted there. Camp Alexander is a resource for our students. They can earn scholarships to go to this camp for free in the summer. And it's just a great way to get kids outside, learn how to fish, all kinds of fun activities. Um, we also have a large orchestra, band, and theater group. They put on many performances throughout the year and it draws quite the crowd. Sports are also important to our community. Some of the most popular are volleyball, basketball, football, cross country, swimming, and soccer. We have Rec Extra and that is um, hosted by the Rec Center here in Emporia and it's held at each um, different elementary school and students have the opportunity to stay there after school until their parents are off of work and they play games and participate with their peers. We have a large multicultural community. 33% of our um, community is our ELL learners. Uh, many are bilingual and migrant students at four and almost five percent. Many of our families are economically disadvantaged at 62%. We have large class sizes, so to remedy this, the school district drew new boundary lines. These boundary lines help to decrease the class size to about 22 to 25 students a class. Summer meal programs are important to our school. They offer free breakfast and lunch for students. Um, there's also a meal spot food trailer, and this travels around the town to different areas that are not close to the schools for walking distance for students, so they're able to still get that meal. The population characteristics here, the parent education level is not very high. However, there are many resources to help remedy this. There's the Flint Hills Technical College, there's Emporia State University, and Flint Hills Learning Center. And the Flint Hills Learning Center is a virtual school where parents or students can maintain or get their GED. There are seven elementary schools and one middle school and one high school. The elementary number of students outweigh the middle school and high school. Our gender ratios are split just about even with 49% females and 51% males. Many of our parents work either white collar or blue collar jobs. We have many factories in town, so that does provide some of the main resources for jobs. We have a very diverse population um, within our schools. The communication that the district uses frequently is social media. We have a school website, um, phone calls. There's now automated messaging systems that go straight to your phone or your text messaging. We send emails out frequently, or if we have a trouble getting a hold of a parent, we oftentimes will send snail mail. We also um, host radio interviews, and we have newspapers that we frequently give updates on what's going on in the district. Along with newsletters, each principal sends home a newsletter, at least monthly, for their individual schools. We have a large group of bilingual staff, and these staff members help us to translate the information that, so that we can communicate better with our families. Most community members can get their information through email, the school website, or social media. We have 
a lot of community groups. Just to name a few, we have churches. There's the Main Street, Emporia Main Street, and they host several events all year long, and they get the community involved and excited. And we have the Emporia Arts Center, and this is um, an arts council that has classes frequently, and it teaches all kinds of trades and skills. It's very fun, and many um, students or teachers can host and have their own private um, class if there's a special technique or skill that they would like to learn. The Emporia Public, Public Library and the Zoo are other resources that keep kids busy. They are constantly coming up with new programs that children can participate in with their families. We also have active um, police and fire departments that host different events throughout the year, and our community has a great support for our um, police and fire department. The something that was special the past two years is that the First United Methodist Church here provided school supplies for all seven elementary schools. There was not one child that did not receive their school supplies provided by this church. And it was a great relief for parents, considering that we do have a lot of families that are economically disadvantaged. There are several um, informal and formal groups, such as biking and running clubs. Um, bicycling is very important in our community, considering that we host the Dirty Kanza. It's very popular here. You'll always see somebody bicycling down a highway. We also have the American Legion and different extracurricular groups, such as um, sports, gymnastics, um, traveling teams that keep families engaged. We also have the Lyon County Historical Society. They are great about giving tours um, throughout the town. We have a very historical town and our community is very proud of that. The Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts do a great job about promoting and keeping kids involved. There's also um, several different extracurricular activities that adults can participate in, such as the arts, art classes, different um, clubs, we have a very active and fun community. Um, the community it does a great job about being student-centered and cooperating with um, all those involved. The school district works very hard to keep positive relationships with organizations within our community. School administrators and board members, city officials, and building leaders are the main leaderships that are recognized within our community. Um, teachers who hold leadership positions are within their school community also have different experiences and ideas to bring to the table. That's another way that we can be leaders within our school. There are several different theories. Um, no leader in the community has a similar background or experiences. Working with partnerships creates positive experiences for our students and staff. Um, our school board members have great accessibility. They have their contact information um, on the website. It's the same thing for our administration team. There are many community leaders that are members of other clubs or organizations in town, and they can take that knowledge back and forth and communicate with our schools. By promoting positivity among the school and working with members within the community, we can um, have a powerful influence in our leadership. Um, the economy is starting to grow in Emporia with new businesses. Um, we have regional manufacturing, um, education, medical centers, and agriculture as some of our main jobs. The unemployment rate is 4.4% and the average household income is 36697 There are many floodplains um, in our community. So when you're buying a house, you have to be extra cautious of that. Um, there's also different zoning that if you're going to build or change some of the historical buildings downtown, you have to go through certain zoning permits. The property value of the median, median listing is 93000 and the tax rate is 8.5%. The district business office um, is on West 7th Avenue, and it used to be one of the schools that they converted into the business office. 
It's hard to separate the politics from education in our district. There are some, there are strong unions and groups that raise questions to, to some of the school efforts. Our district does a phenomenal job with the school budgets. Each administrator follows the policies outlined in the board documents. The superintendents are on top of what is happening in Topeka so that they can plan accordingly. State and national understanding. Our administrators are innovative with new norms across the state and national levels. There are a few um, interracial confrontations um, that happens among various groups, and sadly, parents also contribute to this. There are a few gangs in town, and students who are in these gangs often have probation officers who notify the school if there's anything that needs to happen with the kids or anything that we need to be aware of. Um, there's cliques among various social classes, and the, if there's discrimination, the school board has strict policies that are outlined in the school handbook for these types of circumstances. There's extra sources in town, such as the courthouse, city hall, chamber of commerce, newspaper. Um, at the school, you can talk to the secretaries, go to the school office, go down to the district office, and you could look in the minutes of the school board meetings. School officials follow the chain of command. Um, I, as a teacher, I should talk to my principal first before hopping ahead and going down to the district office. Um, principals relay information back to their staff members after they learn of new ideals that we need to be implementing. Community groups um, also take on various responsibilities. There are several different communities within each school community and their roles are all unique. We have a large um, ELL population. We have many translators and many of our students and staff are bilingual. Um, we have to be cautious of different holidays that are acknowledged among the various religions and social groups. Um, social customs that are celebrated in the multicultural group, such as Cinco de Mayo, um, that is celebrated in many of our schools. And we offer the school food programs year round. Um, open school board meetings and board minutes are one way of measuring public opinion. People can attend PTO meetings. Um, we have an active administration and teachers within the community. Um, annual parent-teacher conferences. Um, we always give out annual surveys, and these surveys um, parents can take, and it talks about the different technology or how the school is running and what they would like to see changed. Um, also, in parent-teacher conferences or private meetings with parents, we can interview the parents and students and see how things are going or if there's a problem, how can we remedy it.